carry on that 10 pin. Brian Boss working on four in a row, leading by only two pins right now. Seventh frame action. Very, very good possibility the winner of this match would win the tournament. Very good. Still hasn't missed that lane. He may not ever miss it the way I he's going. Talk to Brian Boss about being a father. His comments. I love being a father. It's uh, you know, it's a wonderful way to experience life that uh, without having children, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Um, it kind of teaches you a lot about yourself, a lot about my father that uh, passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, but they're here tonight, and they've never sat on a telecast for an hour and a half. Should I happen to win all four matches? Uh, so it's going to be a treat. <laughs> Try it for six. What a match. Tremendous talent. You see Brian's son. Son looking on, watching it. Here's a look at that shot halfway down the lane. Look at the room he gave this. Look at the rotation to get it back. He is into this, and so are both players. They're flying high. Hey, looked like Roger Kingdom going over hurdle there. There you go. Not watching, though. Bozio trailing by 22. 12. Well, you know, this is uh, six guns at uh, 60 feet. Who's going to blink first? That's really, Michael, that's a, that's a great analogy. That's exactly what it is. Two Hall of Famers going at it, both realizing that if they win this match, they could be the, you know, they could be in position to go all the way. But, you know, another thing, way to look at this, there's going to be a lot of energy expended here. Both players knowing that the other is such a tremendous player, they can't afford to make a mistake. The winner of this match, could be a little drained. Ernie Schlegel will be waiting in the wings to take him on. Ninth frame, foundation. Foundation, Ozio still alive. Well, Ozio had it done to him last week. <laughs> he may be on the receiving end this week as Brian Voss could strike it out for 280 and lock him out. Wouldn't that be something? Shoot 268 and lose. Hmm. Ozio not watching. Oh, Hi. what a break. Well, he got that one deeper into the lane, farther out near the channel with more on it. It hooked back harder. Trip to four. Good break there. Tremendous break. And his wife liked it. Well, this is the shot that's going to make the difference. He needs this one to make Ozio get two in the tenth. Yeah, he gets this one nine and a spare, and it's uh, move on to Schlegel time. Now, they don't get any easier. Ernie Schlegel is not going to be anybody to take lightly. He's tough in the clutch. He likes this kind of shot. Here we go. <laughs> Lots of room here. Boy, is he bowling well or what? Wow. Unbelievable talent. These guys are just, they look like they're practicing it and make it look so easy. Well, that's how people used to feel against you. Don't you know that? <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> Well, this is it. Nine pins locks it up, but he's thinking strike. No question. He'll be aggressive. He'll give it everything he's got. And Ozio's hoping he leaves something, anything. Give me a chance. says, you rat, why didn't you give me a chance? Well, he did it to Walter Ray last week. And Boss did it to him this week. 280, back-to-back, -back, 264, 280. <laughs> 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 they said there's no defense in this game? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, two Hall of Famers. Bowling like Hall of Famers. Well, Ozio leaves the four pin in the 10th, but it doesn't matter. He's going to wind up 
with $10,000. But Brian Voss, he's got a date with Ernie Schlegel. We'll find out the outcome of that date after these messages. Turing Players Championship, and we see Brian Voss with 11 strikes defeats David Ozio, 280 to 247. Now let's take a look at some of our other finishers.